Hello everyone. This is Moni. This is Moni Gwen. At the car wash. I don't know why I like to talk about the car wash. No makeup on. Fresh day. Just thankful to be here. We see some, all that. That's the, the car wash. But today, you know, I wanted to kind of tell um, of a testimony. My nails are bad. <laughs> a testimony um, about my life, about myself. Um, something that happened to me um, when I was about 19 or 18 years old. I was living in North Drew Hills in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, I was in everything that I wanted to be in. And I was in the world. I wasn't living a Christian life. I wasn't saying I was no minister or anything. But I was single, you know, and um, I didn't have any children or nothing yet. I didn't even, wasn't even thinking about a child. And I was traveling all over the world. But I was in my living room one day and I was on my couch in my living room. I wanted to, I don't know what was wrong with me, you know, I just felt like my life wasn't complete because I was single and I didn't have a, um, anybody and I had a lot of users, like a lot of people using me for the money that I was making and just a little bit of everything. It was using me, um, abusing me, like doing stuff to me, you know. It was um, pretty sad, a pretty sad deal. And um, but I was at home, on, on laying on my couch, and I was just laying there. And I thought, you know, that life basically was not worth um, living. And I just thought life's not worth living at all. And at the same time. I was just laying there on that couch and I was in the world. I mean, I was deep in the world. Like nobody don't know my testimony, you know? And um, one day I'm gonna share it, but I tell you what, I looked over and uh, near my doorway, I seen uh, like an ancient lady walk through the wall. And when I seen that, it was crazy. Like, I'm like, what did I just see? I didn't drink. I wasn't smoking or nothing like that. And so I had seen um, ancient lady of some type walk through um, the wall. And at the same time, I was just laying there and I felt my body just get a little more relaxed, right? But then I realized I couldn't move anymore. So at the same time, my body was descending down. <laughs> down. Like not my body, but I guess like my spirit. It started descending down. And, it, you know, so at the same time, my arm had fell off of my body. And the remote hit the table of the floor. It did something. And it went to... Um, the Trinity Broadcast Network or whatever, Christian Television, and Benny Hinn was on there. And they were singing and all this stuff. And Benny Hinn, he was like, wait, wait, stop. Stop everything. Somebody going to hell. He was like, somebody out there is um, going to hell. So stop. And they stopped the music. And he started talking to the camera and he was like, look, he was like, look, young lady, you need to tell God you're sorry. You know, you need to tell God you're sorry. Ask him to forgive you. I did not realize I was going to hell. And I began to feel some hot heat on like the back of my body. And I realized I was going down. And the, the more my spirit was going down, the hotter it got. So I listened. And, I, you know, I began to call out to God. I was like, wait a minute. I don't want to go die. I don't want to die like this. Oh, my, oh, no. So I called out to God. And I called out. And it was something that was in that hole that was um, 
arguing with God about me, about my actions, how my life had been lived, and that I deserve to basically go to hell. And But thanks be to a merciful God that he heard my cry and he heard my plea. And my body began to instantly go back up. You know, my spirit be began to instantly go back up into my body. And Benny Hinn, he just kept talking. And he just kept saying, ask him to forgive you. He'll forgive you. He'll save you. And then he said my name, you know. He, he said my name. He said, Monique, you know, everything's going to be all right. You know, I am so thankful that God cares about me. Because when I was out in the world, I didn't get any phone calls from relatives. I didn't get phone calls from nobody. When I would call, it was always some new information people had said about me. So I kind of put myself in a box, you know, in my travels. And I was just really, really sad all the time. And my trust level was very... Um, low with trusting people and I'm out in um, other countries and all around America my nails look bad you know and I'm um, talking doing whatever I was doing um, you know so at the same time I'm just thankful that God cared about me that I was worth something to God you know you don't have to be worth two cent to nobody. They may not like you because you can't have a Louis Vuitton or Michael Kors bag or your makeup is not right um, or you don't wear makeup or you know or whatever. They may just talk about you because of whatever but uh, guess what? There's a God in heaven. He loves you. Your, the past at the church don't got to acknowledge that you exist but God does. He cares about your soul because if I was to really sit here and tell my testimony I already know people say she lying and this and this and that. They don't even know what I've been in. I will, the more you see, the more places you go, the more things happen in your life. <laughs> it just does. The more you're exposed to more things happening, whether good or bad. But anyway, I just want people to have a blessed Friday and just know that Jesus cares. He cares about you even if you're a um, drug dealer or a stripper or a prostitute. He he cares about you if you're a school teacher. He cares about you if you're a pastor. If you're just somebody that says, I'm just normal. You know, he cares. And I know I deserve to go to hell. I know I did. But he cared about me. And I'm thankful today that I'm here and he's totally delivered me. I'm nothing like who that girl was that was descending down to hell. They probably would have said I died of natural causes like you don't know why people leave in this world they're leaving at all ages give your life to christ today okay and i want everybody to just have a blessed